Hello everyone and welcome back for another video. Today we're going to be using this wonderful Pine Bell stencil by Simon Says Stamp. It came out um, I think a couple of years ago and we're going to be doing two cards today and one we're going to be using Nuvo Glacier Paste in Green Envy and then the other one we're going to be using Nuvo, Nuvo Glimmer Paste in Emerald Green. And first we're going to start with the Emerald Green and it is a very dark um, glittery green. I love this green um, and it just makes for really beautiful Christmas cards. And so you want to scrape off all the excess, put it back in your jar. I do not have a piece of uh, press and seal on top of this jar, but I am going to add that. I didn't realize I didn't until I started using this product. But if you put a piece of press and seal over any of your paste type products, it will um, prolong their life. And here I tried to clean up the stencil with a baby wipe, but that's just impossible. You got to take it to the kitchen sink and wash it out. Okay, here you can see my press and seal on the top of my Glacier Paste. And Glacier Paste is, is a different uh, kind of product than the Glimmer Paste, although it is very shiny. But once it dries, it really looks like foil. And so it's kind, if you don't want to get into all the foiling stuff, this is kind of a neat and easy way to kind of give a foil look. So now for our main little image on here, we're going to use the Penny Black uh, Creative Dyes Adorn and it's this lovely ornament and it has a lot of stitching detail and then it has some cut out areas. So I cut it out of two different colors. One of, uh, Tim, both of them are Tim Holtz uh, metallic craft cardstock, one out of red, one out of gold, and I'm just going to inlay the opposite pieces. I don't know what Lucy's losing her little puppy mind over, but I stopped the video and yelled at her and Hopefully she'll stay quiet for a minute. Okay, so I'm just going to dab a little bit of glue in there and I'm going to use my Marby Jewel Picker and to pick up all the little pieces and uh, put them into place. It's a little bit of a tedious um, pr uh, process, but um, it really didn't take very long, except for the drying time. It really didn't take very long at all to uh, do these cards. And so you can do them assembly line fashion. You know, first do all your stenciling and set those aside to dry. And then do um, all your die cutting. Uh, it's still probably going to be a little longer on the dry time <laughs> than the, your die cutting time. But um, you can always work on another project in between times. So um, this, I don't have final pictures at the end of this video. I'm sorry, because once I got them done, I um, personalized them, addressed them, stamped them, and put them in the mailbox because I was so far behind on getting all my Christmas cards out this year. So I, um, I, I didn't get the final pictures made uh, just in a hurry and didn't even think about it. But you'll, you'll see them at the end. Um, again after I uh, do the inside of the cards. Okay, here I'm just using my Pentel gold metallic pen and I'm creating like the string to go up to the Christmas tree branch. And um, instead of trying to do, uh, you know, anything else for string or anything like that, um, I decided that that would be quick and easy. This Joy Die, um, it was a Simon Says Stamp thing that came out a few years ago. Unfortunately, this is not available any longer. I, so I did link down below a couple of um, alternatives if you liked using the word Joy or, you know, use whatever other words that you like. And again, I cut them out of the gold and the red and I will just alternate the shadow and the, and the word layer on each. So those cut out very easy with my little Sizzix Sidekick that I love so much. And so then I will just layer those together and put them on the card. So this is, um, you will see one more card from me and it it is scheduled to go up December 23rd because uh, that is my date for the Christmas Craft Creations Challenge blog site. Uh, that is the date of my release uh, for them. And uh, in that video, I'll sound like a crazy person because I'll say stay tuned for more Christmas cards because I actually filmed it in the beginning of December, but then I realized it fit that challenge. And so I saved it for that challenge. So that is technically my last uh, Christmas card for 2020. But because I am on the Christmas 
craft creations challenge blog design team i will be doing christmas cards all year round and i won't always do a video for them but i will try to to just en encourage everybody to play along with challenge blogs they're a lot of fun and uh, there's usually a prize and um, also it gets you to making your christmas cards so you're not just waiting till november to do them <laughs> like so many of us still do um but yeah it, it's a so it's a good thing to challenge it the challenge blogs kind of force you to do it is if you want to play along all right so what else is going on in my neck of the woods um my youngest son uh flies in from college tomorrow uh, about two o'clock i pick him up so anxious to see him and he, he was going to go back on january third but uh his school <laughs> the two days after we made his plane reservations sent him a notice saying that they were extending the break so and yeah we bought non-refundable tickets so we're just gonna have to buy him a one-way ticket back so yay thanks for doing that to us sullivan university um but anyway it's all good and i um, happy to have him home and um, spending Christmas with us. My oldest son, he will be coming up to spend Christmas with us. Um, and then after the holidays, I'll be riding with him to uh, Seattle, which is where he's moving to. He will complete his technical school up there. He's got uh, his best friend from high school is up there. He's been wanting to go up there for years. And so he's decided to make that move. And so I told him that I would ride with him long car trip yay okay <laughs> so uh back to the card for a second for the inside of the card i'm using a gina k uh stamp set called sentimental holiday i used this stamp set a lot this year it had a lot of great sentiments in it and um i really like this uh star and so i decided to uh once i put the greeting in here i will add the star and i will stamp it in delicata gold uh golden glitz ink and I thought it just finished off the inside of the card very nicely. I think this is kind of a, a you know sophisticated card, and and that made uh, the inside kind of match the outside. Okay, so I do have to share a funny story. I was going out to do all my uh, Christmas grocery shopping yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. And it's it's been pretty chilly here in North Texas lately, but I didn't realize how chilly it was. And so what I was wanting to go to three different locations, and I realized uh, after I had already left and had, I had put a cooler in the in the back of the car that it was only 36 degrees outside, and it was still only 36 degrees when I got back. So basically, my car was like a rolling refrigerator, and I didn't need to to pack the ice chest. <laughs> I felt a little silly that I didn't uh, realize how cool it was uh, outside. But yes, it's been very chilly in North Texas, but it is December. So I guess that is what we got to expect. Okay, to finish off the outside of the cards, I'm using some Nuvo Drops in Red Berry and Bright Gold. And I will just tap those down a little bit to smooth them out. And that is going to finish off the outside of this card. So because the next video is pre-recorded and like I said, didn't realize it was going to be my last, I will take this opportunity to tell you to have a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I will see you after I get back from Seattle. And as always, thank you for watching.